Hey, so in today's vlog, we are going to talk about failures and why it is important for you to not avoid failures. Instead, you should face them head on. And the other thing is that you should not blame your failures on other people. Instead, you should take responsibility for your failures and improve it from there. So number one is that there are mainly two kinds of people, those who try to avoid failures. And then the other kind is the people who don't try to avoid failures, they ju just go head on and take the failures on the face and learn from them and then try again. They just never quit. They just take failures and then they keep trying and then they succeed. That's how it works. So which kind of people is better? Are the people who avoid failures better off or are the people who take failures head on better? So in my opinion, the people who take failures head on are much better because they fail fast and as a result, they succeed fast as well. Why? The reason behind that is uh, the thing between you and your success is a lot of failures. So if you don't take those failures, you will not be able to get your success. So failure is a require, required element of success. Okay. Failure and success are not opposites as it is often thought to be. Failure is often a part of success. So if, if you start embracing your failures, if you st don't be scared of failures, then you start learning faster by doing your experiments and then failing and then learning from them and then trying again. And then eventually that is how you get to your success. You can't just go ahead and succeed in one day. That rarely happens to anyone. You have to fail first and then you succeed. So whenever you face failure, it's a good thing. Firstly, remember it's a good thing that you tried something and then you failed. It's a good thing. But then you need to take your learning from it. Never try to blame your failures on other people. That's the mistake that a lot of people make. They just blame their failures on a lot of reasons, their situations uh, or the people or some other reason, okay? They just try to give excuses that this is the reason why I failed. But don't do that. Uh, take your own failures by your own self. Own them, own your own failures. And when you do that, when you take responsibility for your failures, at that time you feel that you have the power to change it to, into a success the next time you try it. But if you blame it on other people, then the next time also you will find other people to blame if you don't succeed. But if you take it on yourself, then you will know that you have the power to make it right and succeed. So two things that you can learn from this. Number one is that you should not avoid, avoid failures because failures are a necessary element of success. And number two is that when failures happen, you should take it on yourself. You should take responsibility for it and then try to improve it from there instead of trying to blame it on other people. So that's what I wanted to tell you in this vlog. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.